I just finished printing this body and I wanted to show my support structure. So when I print my bodies, um, let me rephrase that. When I print other people's bodies, I will decide whether I want to print it horizontally or diagonally according to how much detail I want on it. And uh, regardless of the setup, I always do manual supports and I will always go around the rim and uh, I will check the slicer and see if there's any low hanging fruit. In this case, it has the uh, mounts down here meant for the Kyosho Mini Z and it has one up here too embedded into the file. So I make sure to put the support around the rim and any low hanging fruit. This is also true for horizontal prints and bear with me, this came out, this was pretty crappy, but the file is actually good. <laughs> it's just crappy filament that I used. Uh, but same thing here, I will typically go around the rim uh, with a support structure. And in cases uh, like this that has a big opening for the windows, I will put support around the rim of the window and I will put support around here because otherwise this would uh, slow hanging fruit. Again, it sucks because you end up using a lot of material. This was like, uh, I forgot, but like a hundred grams and the body is only half of that material maybe maybe less. So I hate wasting material, uh, but uh, if you want a good body, a good print, you sort of have to do it. With my bodies, I avoid that problem altogether because these print like this and you don't waste material on support structure. You could print them like this. There's no reason you can't, you know, if you feel more comfortable, but I tend to design them this way. So it limits how, stand up, idiot. It lit, it's actually upside down. <laughs> it uh, limits the kind of design I can do because it has to be able to port, support itself, but I don't know, it's a fun way of designing cars. And uh, you can actually get pretty decent detail out of designing the cars that way because while you're horizontal, you know, you have uh, these um, layer marks, and this is at point two. If it were point one, it would be less. And then, of course, you could sand it, paint it, and make it disappear. But it's hard to do that around the details. Then you can do it diagonally, and as you can see, diagonally, if the light permits. Well, you, you can clearly see there's, there's better detail, and you'll have to sand less or not at all when you paint this. So this is a way to improve resolution without changing layer height. Uh, this is probably better than, it's probably better to do it this way at point two than it would be to do it this way at point one. And then when you come to these guys, yes, this is painted, but I didn't sand it and you can still see the layer lines here a little bit, but you get much smoother curves all around. And here you can see it, this is also printed this way. So um, what you're seeing there, there are not layer lines. They're just, I guess they're the, the shifts of the stepper motor. But still, you get pretty nice curves. Anyway, that being said, I'm gonna move on to removing the support material. This is clearly better material than that. Uh, hopefully, it's also stiffer. Get away, cat. So I'm a little worried that I'll crack the body, which is significantly thinner than the support material. Stupid camera cut out while I was removing the supports. Anyway, they, go, they came off pretty easily. And here is the result. And this has a really clean underside, but that's because it was printed diagonally. <clears throat> if it were printed horizontally, as some of you might have already printed bodies, so you know, uh, you'll get a bit of a trashy underside, even with the supports, and and that's okay. And it doesn't really matter as long as it doesn't affect your surface finish. And um, yeah, this is, uh, let's see how it fits. This is meant to fit on a Kyosho Mini Z chassis. I have one that's been disassembled, so I can recreate it and 3D print it. And now I have an infinite supply of uh, hop-up parts or I guess they're not hop-ups, but replacements. Um, this came with its own front clip, so I installed it. 
and it should go into the rear Kyosho style mounts. And I use these same mounts on my own frame, as you can see here, but I have to redesign them. They're a little bit too uh, tall, so it makes the body sit too high. Anyway, I'm gonna fix that eventually. Let's see if this fits without too many issues. Not gonna lie, I test fit it before, before I did it here on camera. I didn't wanna crack it. And it does fit, this is a bit of a tough, stiff, it's a bit of a stiff uh, PLA, so it's a little bit harder to bend. Uh, I had previously printed this in this same material and this guy loves to, to flex. So, yeah, oh my God, this one flexes even too much. But anyway, there you go. Nice clean body. I'm not even gonna sand this, I'm just gonna paint it. And I'm actually gonna drill out the the windows. I try to remove them through CAD, but it's um, it's not a, it is a manifold CAD, but it's just, uh, bleh. anyway, forget it. I'm gonna do it by hand I'm gonna drill it out. And the reason I'm opening it and then I'm gonna put like a piece of Lexan sheet is because I'm gonna have a infrared lap timer in there. Anyway, I just wanted to show um, some of my bodies that I printed and how I print them. And um, yeah, if you do decide to design bodies, uh, this is obviously, you can do it like normal design and that's cool. And you just have to make sure you design it to mount on whatever frame you want. And if you wanna challenge yourself, I recommend doing it like these guys where they're support free. And yes, these will fit on a Kyosho Mini Z. As a matter of fact, let me see what this guy, what this guy looks like on. Oh, right, I gotta remove the, I should remove the clip, but forget it. I'm just gonna use the rear side. So that, that's my Gamma chassis. And like I said, it's probably gonna sit high and I should change the front clip, but I wanna do a quick test fit. Oh, it's so rough, stiff. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> it, that, it would fit, uh, but I have to readjust the height. Unless you wanna make a Lamborghini rally car, then they're all set. Now scram.